Hi everybody, Jeff of Cutter Masters. Some quick setup tips for the Journeyman JXT. Uh, nice part about the JXT is it has, has a tower. The complication with that, of course, is you need to find an easy way to pick up height relationships. On the old Cutter Master, the spindle was a fixed height. That's great if you're just going to do a couple things, but if you want a more functional tool grinder, then it's nice to be able to raise a wheel up and down. So that's why we did that. This is a 1560s two flute. Um, we're just doing some quick grinds using a large aluminum oxide wheel. Nice place to start to do the center gash and also the secondary is just set the motor height so the bottom of the wheels essentially flush with the outside of the tool. <clears throat> this is a really good place to start. What I've done at this time is I've I have a dial indicator back here that's touching the, it's mounted on a magnetic shelf touching the, the x-axis, set to zero. I, I bring the wheel in until it's just barely touching the outside of the tool. And I back this away. Now we're gonna flip this up 90 degrees. And now I'm gonna bring this table in half the tool diameter. This is a 1516, so we're gonna bring this in 468. One, two, three, four, and 68. So loosen up the end mill. And now you wanna just with the collet snug, you want to make sure also always that the collet is kind of snug on the tool so that the tool is centered in the collet. I'm going to rotate the end mill up just so the corner is touching the wheel. Now I'm going to I'll snug it up a little bit. I'm going to back the wheel away about five thou, so I'm going to back it up to 463. Now, the wheels run out. Sometimes the collet rotates a little bit when you tighten it. And you don't want to take these corners off, so don't be afraid to move, move back out of the way until you're nice and clear. But now, you're all set for a gash. This is a nice, nice height for a gash because you don't have to cut too deep. You want to go in just past center on both sides. Um, so we're, we're backed away a little bit. You want a little bit of a web in the center um, that, that'll do some cutting <clears throat> and you want good chip clearance. So now we're gonna show you how to do that. So remember the tool is kind of flush with the bottom of the wheel from a basic height perspective. I'm gonna back this way a little bit. <clears throat> so as you can see, it's a pretty good height for the, for the secondary. Gives you a nice secondary. It cuts a lot of clearance out of the way, which is good. <clears throat> so with the spindle set to zero now, we're just going to do the center gash. And I'll show you an easy way to do that. So, we're going to just feed in. So you want to just be below center here. A few thou. You can measure it if you like. Once you get in as far as you want to go, you can... You can jump the spindle. This is a handy feature on a, on a Cutter Master. Good only on two flutes. Now you gotta pull this all the way away so you don't take the corners off your tool when you rotate it. And now we're gonna do the other side. Go to the depth you like <clears throat> for demonstration purposes. I think you get the idea. The nice thing about the Journeyman JXT with the tower is that you can actually flip the motor up, rotate it this way, and cut with the face of the tool. Kind of handy. But for quick cutter master type grinds where you use the outside of the tool, this is a good way to go. Now to do your primary, 
Loosen up our thumb screws here. We're just gonna bring this down. Good place to start on the old Cutter Master. The uh, motor was about 600 thou above the air spindle. So if you bring it down to your about center, this dial up here is 200 thou. So if you go one, two, three, you're now about 600 thou above center. And you can grind your primary. Remember to grind your primary, you wanna, and when you grind your primary and secondary, you wanna rotate this inboard about two degrees. So you get a little bit of dish in the end. So, uh, at that height, that'll give you about five degrees on the primary and about 24 degrees on the secondary, of course, based on the diameter of the wheel. So thanks for watching.